Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today we're going to look at how to remove a strip screw. Now there are hundreds of different ways you can do this, there are thousands. So please drop your comments below and let me know what you do. Uh, and I'm sure there are plenty on YouTube already, but I'm going to show you the ones that I use on a daily basis. Now I'm hoping these are going to be some fresh ones that you might not have seen, okay? Because people think you've only got certain ways to do it, but you can actually use a wide variety of things to remove a strip screw. So let's get straight into it and we'll have a look. So here we go guys, we have our strip screw and as you can see it is well and truly stripped. Now the first thing I will say with this screw is because it sits above the surface and it isn't flush, you can actually use a, an angle grinder with a metal cutting bit to make a slot in the top. This can obviously get a flathead screwdriver on there and undo it that way, it's very very easy. But in this situation we haven't got that. So first we're obviously going to go ahead and try to undo the screw. So I'm going to put some pressure down. We've got slight movement, but nothing major. Right, now the first thing we're going to try is a tiny bit of PTFE. Now this should be in everybody's toolbox, DIY or a plumber or what. All we're going to do is get a tiny little bit and sit it across the head. Okay, nice and easy. We're going to set the drill to slow like it was. I'm going to put a lot of pressure down, press firmly down. There we go, we're out. Now let's pop it back in with the PTFE and we'll try something else. Next we're going to go ahead and use a bit of duct tape. Now this is Gorilla Tape, um, it wouldn't make much of a difference but any sort of duct tape would be fine. Put it straight across the head like so, press down firmly. And out she comes, no problem. Next guys, we're going to go ahead and use some uh, electrical tape. Again, any of this is possible. So again, same scenario, press on it firmly. And out she comes. Next, this is for the plumbers out there like myself. Everybody should always have some wire wool handy. You only need a little bit. And crumple it up, put it over the screw. This is excellent because this provides great grip. You just need to find the head in all the fuzz. Straight out, no problems. Another thing, guys, what we can use is cleaning strips. Again, being a plumber, I've got loads of these handy for cleaning up copper pipe. It does the same sort of thing. Press it on, press down firmly. And out she comes, just like that. Next, we've got the most obvious, which is the elastic band. Again, put it on, press down firmly. A little bit slower, but it still does the job. And of course, next, we have the screw removal tool, which everybody should have in their toolbox, in my opinion. So we'll give that a go. This is brand new, never been used. I mean, of course that was going to work. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that. There's not much you can't use to remove the screws. You can also get things like screw removal paste. Uh, it's got basically like little shards, it's like the wire wool. Um, but you'll find that most things will work, but people don't know to try them or scared to really. Most tapes will, sellotape will, um, quite a lot of different materials, cloths will work. Anything will work to remove a screw as long as you press down firm enough and you just get a little bit of a bite, you'll be okay. So let me know what you guys do in the comments below and I might even give them a go myself. So thank you very much for joining me guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up because it does help and I'll see you on the next video.